Hello, uh, this is Vajahat Nazeer and I have just recorded a lecture of a statistics introduction in Urdu and Hindi that took 30 minutes but this time I will not take more than 10 minutes to wrap up the whole introduction of the statistics. <clears throat> okay, fine. So we simply go quickly what is statistics. According to some people, statistics is a branch of mathematics, but it is in a development phase. One day, statistics will be a different subject and which will not be treated as a branch of any subject. But till date, 2017, statistics is treated as a branch of, uh, uh, as a branch of mathematics. So to understand statistics, we have to understand data. But what is data? Data, data is a piece of information or measurement from an experiment. Data is a piece of information or measurement which we get, which we get from an experiment. So now, in the statistics, what we do with that data? We perform the collection of data means the collection of data is a part of the statistics we perform some some sort of uh, some sort of models some sort of mathematical model we say we perform mathematical calculations on that data we discuss those calculations in detail in just few minutes that we perform some mathematical calculations on that data we analyze data and then we present data so the presentation of data analysis of data mathematical calculations those we perform on data all are included in statistics so this is clear a statistics is a part, is a branch of mathematics, mainly deals with the collection of data, analysis of data, presentation of data, results which we get from data and ultimately we infer some basic or advanced knowledge about that data on the basis of the statistics. So mainly the statistics deals with all the operations which we perform on data and how we get the data any experiment for example we want to measure the average height of us so what we do we collect the heights of each person living in united states of america that will be our raw data and then we perform calculations on that okay next point Okay, now we terminologies to understand the basis or the subject of statistics we have to understand some concepts. Yeah, those concepts are very important. So first of all, we have to understand the difference between population and sample. Population refers to the whole population. For example, the world's population approximately is this much. And from that population, if we are interested in any part of the world, for example, in any particular city, 
in any particular school in any particular organization that will be treated as samples so population versus sample population refers to whole and sample is a part of population sample is a part of population now with this we have to understand what is a parameter and statistic statistic parameter is the characteristic parameter is the characteristic of population while statistic is the characteristics of a sample statistics is the characteristic of a sample so if you want to study population whatever we study in population and we present that data in terms of numerical values those numerical values will be treated as parameter on the other hand when we study a sample so whatever we study during that sample so all the characteristics will be treated as statistics for example the mean of a population will be called parameter a standard deviation of a of a population will be called parameter same mean median mod whatever we will find regarding population that parameter will be treated as population characteristic clear so all the parameters of a population are called parameter either it is mean median mod and in sample they call characteristic for example the mean median standard deviation of a sample are called statistic so the same characteristic of a population is known as parameter the same characteristic of a sample is known as statistic to memorize this concept p p for population and p for parameter on the other hand s for sample s for statistic now come to the next point these are the two main uh, terminologies those are important now come to the branches of statistics statistics can be divided into two broad categories one is known as descriptive statistics another one is known as inferential in descriptive statistics we study the graph related to the data for example we are making bar chart we are making pie chart all the graphical presentation comes under the head of descriptive statistics apart from that we study mean median mod standard deviation variance kurtosis skewness range 
maximum minimum the total number of observation n definitely the total number of observations n in descriptive statistics so now what inferential statistics deals with inferential statistics deals with the hypothesis testing t test anova anova is invented by the father of statistics which is known as ronald fisher so anova is analysis of variance is invented by the father of statistics then we have uh, t test chi square then we have regression regression check the dependency of one variable over the other correlation correlation check the relationship between two variable for example uh, between electricity and your uh, any other expense you can say uh, the telephone expense uh, and the electricity expense you can find out the correlation between them so these things comes under the head of inferential statistics while in descriptive statistics we include the graph mean median mode variance kurtosis and a lot more things next i just want to quickly wrap up the introduction uh we help in statistics tutoring we help in assignment making and uh, for all the levels for mba o level a level uh, gcse level yeah next we are moving yeah here i just want to uh, give you a small introduction about we just studied we have just studied that the difference between parameter parameter are the characteristics of whom of population while statistic refers to the characteristics of sample so now i just want to give you the names the symbols which we use to refer them for example the number of observations if we refer it to the population we used n capital n while in sample statistic it refers to a small n then when we call about the mean the average so when we refer to the average of a population we use mu it will be like this and for a sample statistic the symbol will be x bar then we have a standard deviation so a standard deviation we use sigma and for sample s is used a small s it will be a small s for sample statistic while for population parameter we use sigma for a standard deviation variance for variance it is sigma square and for sample statistics will be s square so these are the main symbols which are used in statistics and the difference between population parameter and sample statistics as we have told you before that parameter parameter refers to the characteristics of population while statistic refer to the characteristics of sample now 
we are moving to our last part and what are the different types of averages there are three main types of averages mean median and mod mod is most repeated value in a data set median is the middle most value for example if one two and three is written two is median while mean is simple average clear apart from that we have mean is also called arithmetic mean and we have two more means harmonic mean and geometric mean harmonic mean and geo matrix mean so statistics is all about comparison it's all about interpretation it's all about presenting a data and when you become or you will get familiar with the statistics you will start thinking like a statistician and you will always find the differences your whole thinking will be changed that's all about uh, introduction i hope uh, you like the video you can watch the same video again and again to get better results and we will keep on recording more videos on probability because the statistics without probability is nothing for, from my point of view so probability is the most probability is the most important topic of the statistics you can connect us on plus 92300 92300 256 2296 on whatsapp we offer one to one online tutoring of the statistics assignment help and a lot more you can connect me uh, on the number thank you thank you for watching my video take care